Well, now that we got a party together, I suppose we should do a little training. Admittedly, this may not be the best area to do training in for us, but it's the one we're going with since it was on the board and it gets the mark out of the word thing, you know, and stops making it look like it's an interesting place to go to, so let's just take care of it, you know? Though, admittedly, this place is rather barren. Um, thanks, game. Um, one of you guys got a fairy orb. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can't tell them to do that. I can tell them to sprite out, but apparently not that. Okay. I guess I'll skill Data Drain. Is it necessary? No, but Data Drain enough enemies will unlock the books, so... It's vital that we slowly do that. Plus, you know, it covers enemy types as well, so there's that as well. Sir, as well. Get back here, you damn blasted sword! Ugh. Ding Ding just didn't want to die! I admire its tenacity, but it wasn't gonna escape me forever. Because I wanted it dead. Now, let's see items. What's this Rondo thing? I assume it's a weapon. For a Blade Master. Well, screw that. I don't have a Blade Master. Black Rose is a heavy blade. Balmung is a blade master. Ugh. But I hate Balmung. And we're not gonna get him anytime soon anyway, and what would he want with a level two sword? Like he doesn't join you to like your like level fifty ish or so. Potentially higher, but you know, he's not gonna be joining anytime soon this game. Though admittedly I'm gonna have to start going back and clearing fields at some point, you know, for one of the real books, but That'll probably end up being that first area Balmung showed us, because it should be an easy clear. Or at least it's an easy dungeon clear. I don't know if the fields in the um, training area respawn. I know the chests do. And I didn't buy any more fairy orbs, so we're going to have to do this one blind. Unfortunately. <sighs> Poor Mistral. Her level is so low, I actually have about as much magic as she does at the moment. Oh yeah, we'll need these. They help raise Grunties. Ooh, a health drink. I don't know if I really want to drink it when it came from a dead body. Well, I suppose I don't have a choice. Okay. Let's just, uh, take care of that. Um, Data Drain. Yep, they drain the disco knife. This disco's deader than shit, and so should that weapon. Oh, great, a spear. Thanks, game. I definitely want one of those right now. Like, why would you get a spear from draining a sword anyway? Ugh, makes no sense. That makes no sense, game. Like, you trying to make me invoke the Chewbacca defense? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll collect your bloody egg. It'll make you be quiet. Okay. First aid. I guess I'll rep myself. That way, you know, no one wastes time using healing items on me. That would be a waste of valuable items. Oh, restorative. Nice. I really want health drinks. Um, got yeah, speed charm, eh? That would help us get through here a bit faster. <sighs> I really should give in. Okay, I guess I guess we'll trade for it. I want your speed charm. Can I trade for it with some restoratives? Thank you. Because I can get plenty of restoratives, and speed charms aren't that expensive. Like, you can buy these for rather cheap, because the developers will, well, well, we're well aware that walking through the dungeon's really boring. So being able to fast travel is really handy. Well, as close as we can get to fast travel. At least in here. It's not like I can ride a bike or something. Okay, let's see. Well, 
Well, this goes on. Well, Meteor Swarm. I'll just take that out. Well, come on. Well, Day of Train. I haven't Day of Trained one of these things yet. Will it give me a Virus Core? Good. Oh, Wiggly Worm, eh? Ugh, now it's making me want Gummy Worms. I ain't got any on hand. I don't even have spice drops on hand right now. I got some jelly beans, but those are in my candy jars for work. Eh, yeah. since we're here training, we should probably make sure we kill everything that moves. You know, like we're some sort of Dark Lord of the Sith or something, just going room to room making sure everything's dead. You know, because you can't leave anybody behind. You know, when you're evil, you don't want to leave any bodies. Okay. I'll dead drain you if I had the energy. Oh, wait, I can't see you. That's why I can't do it. Okay. Let's just suck this up. Yeah, I'm not really using the spell scrolls right now. I'm saving them for a case I really need it. And I do love how those eggs just respawn, so I can just constantly break them over and over and over again. Okay, let's go this way. And down we go. I imagine this is the final floor. I can't imagine there's a lot of depth to this place. After all, it's a training area, and those are usually pretty small. So the players don't go crazy. Item, um... Fire Tempest on this deadly moth. Well, that takes care of you. And dead before you even had a chance to try and take a drain it. Ooh. Yep, let's get to that point. Oh well, it means we'll have a better chance going through that other area pretty soon. Though it's probably gonna require us going on another episode to do that, because these dungeons take some gosh darn long. Oh man. Just all these hallways. Amateur blades, huh? Great, it's amateur hour. I want to get away from that. I mean, it definitely felt like amateur hour when I got a little bit in over my head, but hey, it all worked out. Blow you up. Eh, let's take the health drink. Boom. There's gotta be a statue around here somewhere. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Don't get any experience if you're dead. It's like a resurrector, sorry, bud. We just got virus core again. There we go. Yeah, I don't want her getting, you know, way behind. That'd be bad. Oh, great. And they got spawned out too. Ugh, great. Skills, damn you. Okay, Fire Tempest. Well, I'll take care of most of them. Did they kill her again? Oh my gosh. Stop dying, Mistral! You're making us look bad. Like, come on. Like, you gotta get your spirits up and get stronger. Of course, the problem is when you walk into rooms like this with two monster areas, they tend to trigger both of them. And Mistral can't take a hit for crap. <sighs> It'd help if I had better armor, but even that's only gonna be so much for her. She's the glass cannon of the party, the mage who can make things happen. But you gotta keep her health up, or otherwise she's useless. 
Maybe I could raise my own health by just standing still for a little bit, but... Why do that? Gosh darn it. Got off to the side of the door there. Like, I'm like, why can't I go through? No, I missed. Joy. Um... Let's just grab ourself. Then head through and see what's on the other side. Okay, just a chest. I'll take it. Anything that spares me some pain right now. There's a third floor to this place. Seriously? Well, I can see why it's a recommended training area now. They're like, there's a lot of monsters here. Especially if you want to be thorough. And I do. Definitely not going to be able to maintain this, though. Because doing this is really tedious. Oh, wait. Fire tolerance. Like, the only thing I did over there is that freaking mob. Okay. Got you. Get back over here, damn it. Thank you. Ugh. I need better hitting power. Oh good, it's just a chest this time. Come on, I need to take you out before you do anything. Skills, people, skills. I mean, don't go super nuts or anything, but... Don't feel hesitant to use them on the deadly mobs. They're a pain in the butt, I know. And let's use a bloody antidote on ourselves. I stopped taking poison damage. Could have swore a chest spawned in here. Oh, there it is. Went past it. From where that um moth dropped. Sadly, that moth wasn't as cool as Mothra. Then again, Mothra wouldn't have went down so easy, now would it? Okay, let's see what's Mistral got on hand to trade anyway. Um, a speed charm. A level 9 twin blade. Well, no. And some plate armor. Okay. I'll trade for that. I don't know if I got anything she's really going to be interested in. Well, she can't equip any of that stuff, so she doesn't want it. I will trade some other coats for those. Thank you. After all, I'm only worried about the quality of the weapon right now. So having a weapon with more power, you know, will help. Okay, let's see, can I trade for some heavy armor? Um, plate armor, yeah. She really doesn't care for this stuff because, you know, she can't wear it ever. And yeah. armor is commonplace. Let's see, let's drop this off because I don't want it. Yeah. I'll... And she'll equip it, good. I'll hopefully make her a bit better. And, uh, items. Let's see, speed charm. Let's get that speed boost going again, right? Because we're walking too slow. Just way too slow. Though, admittedly, after I get done with, you know, probably the next month after this, I'm probably going to turn the AC back on, work on some other stuff that doesn't require having, you know, AC off to hear the game. Um, skills. Items. Fire Tempest. Hopefully that takes care of both of them. Okay, skills. Data Drain. Yeah, I can't use one of my skills right now, but I'm okay with that. Oh, a Pappy, huh? You ain't give me a free item? No. Of course not. Okay, choices again. Okay, I'll get over here and take this thing out. 
Darn it, it still poisoned me before I got to it. Darn you. Well, I'll take the Fire Tempest. Yeah, you get a lot of, um, scrolls when you're going through these areas, man. Okay, how many four various orbs do I got? One. Well, I want to make sure I always got room in there for another one. Just take you out before you do anything. Okay. Oh, mental hit. Thank you. I guess she's got a rock staff there. Um, let's see. I assume that's higher level than what she's probably got right now. Well, probably the same thing, basically. Screw it, then. It's not worth it. Um... Well, that took care of that. And Mistral's slowly getting ahead of us in the um, SP game. Um, item... Damn it, there's a bunch of freaking goblins in here. Okay, got wrecked. Thanks, Mistral. And this is why Wave Masters are so gosh darn useful. Freaking group clearance, man. Like, you don't know what you're missing until you don't have it. This is like... Like, being able to wipe out entire groups of enemies is always freaking sweet. So that part, now I'm going to have to go backwards, because I still want to get the dungeon clear, if nothing else. And we know we're on the right side to even get the chest yet. Gosh darn it. Lovers, though? Ugh. I'll probably hold on to it, just because we're going to get a lot of them, but... It's one of my least favorite items. Because it puts confusion on the enemy. And it doesn't tend to stick around very long. So it's probably one of the least useful status effects. Like, paralysis is more useful because you can at least try and capitalize on the enemy being paralyzed to heal yourself or dole out some damage. Like, you have options there. And at least it saves you from having to spend a lot of SP on recovery, you know. Hopefully. If you get the pluck to get paralysis early. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you get a level up every time you earn a thousand experience points, so... Getting what we're getting now is making it take long, increasingly longer. Ah. Uh, okay, we got a chance to protect break. So let's take it. Oh, we got fire score A, and I got slow down cast on me, gosh darn it. Okay. Someone help me out, will ya? Items, let's see. I think we can use restore to fix that. Okay, physical stats, so yeah, we'll do that. Finally. Problem is I can't. I only got one more speed scroll. Okay. We should almost be done anyway. Yeah, a bit late there. Mist will beat you to the punch. By a mile. Let's just grab these. This fire tempest will definitely come in hand if we have to go to a water area. So that part, though, I'm pretty sure the next area we're going to is not going to be water. A fourth floor? Oh my god. This is just getting pretentious right now, man. Like, why are there so many floors in this beginner's dungeon? I mean, the main technical advantage of beginner's dungeons is they're short, usually. Ugh. I wasn't looking for one that was absurdly and obscenely long. Yeah, book one. Of, like, seven? There's a lot more of these to pick up. I'll take you out the old-fashioned way. Uh, some more burning oil. Kill you off. 
add you to the list of items I got. Yeah, train Tay train the enemies is making them very um inefficient now for leveling. Because it puts them back to level one, you know, I'm increasingly much higher in level. Okay. Well, item antidote. I wish I didn't have to keep spamming those. Oh well. Hold the lovers again. At least we haven't run into a mimic yet. I hate those damn things. Mimics just suck. They're like the worst thing ever, man. You're like, I found a nifty treasure chest. Like, no. No, it's just a mimic. Just dicking with me because it can. Okay. And we killed it on accident. Okay. No loot spawning in. Then keep moving. <sighs> Come on. Tell me we're almost done with this place. That room is so bloody hot. It's just not me suffering. All my pets are suffering with me too. They're like, turn back on the AC, dickwad. I can't blame them. Okay, got a protect break. I don't know how that one didn't get broken. It's almost dead. But, you know, whatever. It's each their own. Okay, we got you drained. And free chest. With another fire tempest in it. Please tell me this is the, like, the last room because it's curving back in on itself. Oh no, now we got a split path. Well, let's take you out. Oh, a uh, golden egg, it looks like. Golden egg. Yep, golden, all right. You get really fast growth with those. Okay, good. This was another room. Well, another hallway, I should say. I think it's the short path. Okay, just keep breaking these. And let's move this way, and hopefully this is the final room. There's another floor? Why? Why is there another floor? They're gonna make me cry at this rate. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm legitimately about ready to cry. <laughs> How annoying this is. Like, I came here just to deal with a small area, you know? They get a little grinding in. It's like turning into a freaking nightmare maze. Okay, it's not very complicated, but it's just so long. Like, I was expecting this to be short. I don't feel I can trust myself anymore. What else have I forgotten about this game that's gonna mess up my judgment? Ugh. <sighs> Five is usually the maximum you're gonna see for dungeons in this area, hopefully. Okay, data drain, swords of chaos here. Circle, yeah. Oh, a long arm? Yeah, I definitely was looking for one of those. I don't have a long armor yet in my party. Ugh. Completely useless. And another Brigadine. Okay, let's go this way. It's not like I got a choice. And another Fortune Warrior. Yeah, I know we've gone through quite a few this episode. Yeah. Another bloody Earth Sword. How many of those am I gonna find at this rate? Problem is, I only have junk because it's the early game. I'm not gonna get anything cool until much later. Okay. Take that. Well, that's a chest we should just grab because it's there. And antidote. 
Good, we've been using a few of those. I could use a new one. Okay. Um, Cadet Valkyrie. I guess we'll just transform you. Okay, Virus Core A. And let's uh, transform you as well. So I'm trying to master this book. I'm not exactly sure what kind of weapon that is right now. We are filling up our uh, warning gauge a bit, but it's not too high yet. And all we gotta do to lower is just kill some enemies, so that's fine. I'm sure I'll have reason to do that later. We always have to kill enemies, after all. They're bloody everywhere. And hopefully this is the final room coming up, because I'm so sick of this place. No, not the final room. You gonna be the final room? No. Man. This is some training area. If there was, wasn't was doing this for a Let's Play, I'd probably be a little more pumped up for this. Okay. Well, that's all the dungeon portals. So, at least we got that taken care of. And we got more plate armor. And we lost our buff. Oh, just made that cast pointless. Oh, thank you for locking down the enemy there for a second. Oh, an enemy spawned in a chest, huh? Eh, it's another meteor swarm. Okay. Found a lot of those around here. Come on, game. I know we have to be near the final room by now. Because we've already been told we've opened all the portals. There's no more enemies left to find in here. It's just breakable items at this point. Oh, is that meant to be like a real insult? Like, yay, yeah, you don't have to go all the way back out. Okay, ceramic inklet. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably going to be crap. I mean, it's early game, so it's got to be crap. But is it crap I can use? Level 11. Decrease targets any nearby member's earth element. So that can remove their, um, earth tolerance if they have it. Okay, I, I just want to equip it because, you know, it's a higher level shoe than I have right now. Well, it would raise my magic defense and evade. That eh, buffs it more than I'm losing. It's fine. Item. Let's see, Sprite Ocarina. I'm pretty sure they carry some, but I'll take care of it. Because when one person use it, uses it, they all use it. Ugh. I didn't think training could be so intensive. Let's just get out of here. Ugh. Well, next time I guess we'll go chasing after Pyros, because I'm pretty sure we can bring company for that. At least we better be able to. For we are thee with fair eyes. It makes sense for us to bring some company along with, right? Power book, huh? So what do you want for that? A bunch of well water. 25 well water. Well, I haven't found any well water yet, but when I do find it, I'll be back for your book. Sadly, that's a one of a kind trade. You can't do it multiple times. Unlike some of the books in the first um, GU game, where you get beginner's text from Hanako basically every time you see her. In this game, you can't do that. I wish you could acquire lots of stat books to help, you know, make Tri-Edge here a little less useless, but them the breaks, man. Them the breaks. And they're nasty. Till next time, then. See ya.